So many people see the in front of the scenes stuff, like the produced episodes of Voices or um, on my Instagram, I release a secret that I'm releasing a podcast soon. What they don't see are the late nights. Like it's a Saturday night right now, right? Most people are hanging out. I see on people's snap on Snapchat. I don't even have Snapchat. People's Instagrams like out at the bars or having drinks. Um, this isn't a pity party. It's just the reality of the behind the scenes that people don't see. Meanwhile, right? I'm watching like a ton the of episodes. Information. <laughs> a ton of episodes of Voices. Sending the team emails. Um, I just created a ton of graphics on Canva and scheduled those posts on Hootsuite. So these are some of the softwares I use. Canva, Hootsuite, and then Adobe Premiere for all of our editing. But another thing that I want to tease is we're releasing a podcast. So the behind the scenes for the podcast include, um, I recorded all of them, but I'm working with KC. K-A-C-E-Y. He um, is doing some of my audio editing. And um, so we talk throughout the week about like what's gonna go well, what isn't gonna go well, what sounds good, what doesn't sound good. And so then the next step is re-listening to all of them. Once I listen to those, I slip um, the audio into Adobe Premiere and an animation I created. I overlay it on the top and now you have a little animation paired with the audio for YouTube. Then after I do that, I schedule the post on YouTube so that then when that episode gets released on Spotify, it is also in conjunction with promoting it on YouTube. So that's a little like marketing like advice, but also kind of just shows you into my world a little bit behind the scenes. So it's funny, I started off by talking about voices, but ended with the podcast. But that's because that's what I'm about to work on right now. And so hopefully my little, I don't know, behind the scenes as an entrepreneur is at least helpful to some people who want to do this on their own. Um, I think there's two things to take away from this video is one, you're going to have some tangible, how does she do it answers. But then two, I think this, this visual and the context clues of like, hey, it's a Saturday night and this is what I'm cranking out. Showcases that a lot of the what you see in front comes from private moments like this. And any entrepreneur, any business owner, anyone who's just doing something consistently can argue and say the same thing. So if you are those people, if you're on YouTube because you have these dreams and you're creating stuff too, I just wanna encourage you, continue doing it. Continue pumping it out and decide what a win is for you. For me, a win, it's funny, there's a couple wins. A win, one of them is just knowing it got out there. Um, knowing that something that was in my brain is now tangibly out in the world. And then I think the second thing is knowing that it's out there for the one. So if it helps one person, we're in a society where you get a lot of hearts and likes and whatever, but like, when you get that one message or that one person who's like, oh my goodness, your YouTube video. So today, shout out to Jay Scott. She's someone who will say, oh my goodness, today in your video, this impacted me. Um, or just anyone who ends up sending a message that says it, something I said resonated with them or helped them. They're my one win and it makes it worth it. Um, and also, I do really follow the voice on the inside of me. I call it the Holy Spirit. Some people call it something else. But following the Holy Spirit is really how I make a lot of the decisions in my life. And so, all of that to share. Find your win. Find your win. Find your win. Find your win. Because then, you won't be super disappointed if you only get one comment. So... I'm going to stop making this video and get back to working on these videos, but hope you're having a blessed night. Continue pushing through. And while we're here, make sure to check out the Relationship Reflections podcast. It's going to be on Spotify and there'll be a new episode every week.